Uh, first of all, man, I am really proud of Tyler Harris. Not for any other reason, because he just did what he always does today. Uh, he's been put in a really uncomfortable situation, being a guy that's always started, being a guy that's always been a, a big minute getter. And um, to come out today, man, and play the He played this way last game and then carried over tonight and made big games, big shots when we were struggling. And that's the reason when I talked to him when he wanted to come back here, I said, Ty, I believe in you. It's going to be tougher this way, this time around because we have so much talent, but I'm going to find a way to get you on the floor because I know you're a point-per-minute guy and you're a weapon. I just need you to do all the other little things. And I've watched him since he's been in the second grade. I always be that scorer, but now he's taking charges. Now he's getting offensive rebounds, and he's always going to knock down big shots. So I was really happy for him tonight. And as far as my freshman, man, Imani started with Imani, and then Josh came on the floor with his energy, and then Jalen kind of sealed the deal in the second half with the blocks. Three fantastic freshmen going out there doing what they do along with uh, with Tyler and then Landers Nolly. He was two for eight from the field. He's very sick and still got ten rebounds. That's something that, you know, that's growth and made some great assists. So between Tyler, uh, Landers, Jalen, Imani, and Josh, not saying that anybody else, the other, other guys didn't do anything, those guys really just kind of solidified our night tonight, and I'm proud of, the, I'm proud of those guys. Hey, Coach, uh, Coach Ford said it was a great game by a great team. And they just, they just ran into a buzzsaw. Other than the, the two areas that concern uh, the turnovers and the missed field throw, I know you got to be proud of how they're growing from game to game to game. Man, you know what's so scary is they took 20 more shots than us. And we and I remember when uh, a couple years ago, man, Mike Miller would look at the stat sheet. Usually when the team takes 20 more shots than you, gets 23 offensive rebounds, you lose by 20. But it's just a, you know, we have to clean that. It's just a true testament to who we are and how resilient we are and how we keep scrapping and fighting and finding a way. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's just amazing. They they just <laughs> – the field goal percentages is what keeps us going. But they took more shots than us and, and got more offensive rebounds. So I'm just proud of the team because we keep finding a way to get it done. Three games in, Penny. I mean, where are you at in terms of figuring out, you know, what you can count on, who you can count on, th those sorts of things that, you know, you're, you're obviously when the, you know, as you move along in the season, you want to figure out. How, yeah. how close do you think you are? I'm pretty close. I'm, I'm still really waiting on DeAndre and Earl. You know, I know they both have so much more. Um, you know, those are two key pieces to what I'm thinking about for our season. Um, DeAndre with his energy, his rebounding ability, his scoring ability against a four or five, Earl with his defense, his physicality. We're still not getting the production out of those two guys that we know we're going to get. So I'm really still waiting on those guys to just, you know, break out of whatever they're in right now to become who I know they can be and are. Jason. Your team's ability to block shots – has been on full display so far this season. Um, what, what can you say about it? I mean, just it, it's 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 been pretty good. Yeah, it starts with Jalen, and then it starts. It goes to Malcolm, then Josh and and Jaden, and Imani and Landers, <laughs> Lester. You know, we're, we're the second, I think, tallest team in NCAA. So we're using our length. And um, I'm, I'm definitely proud of the guys for rim protecting. I have not given Malcolm enough minutes. i got to find a way to get him on the floor, even if it's with him and Jalen. The teams are going smaller, so it's hard to have both out there. Uh, but they're both rim protectors. It starts with those two guys, and then it, it goes to um, Lester, Earl, Landers, and Josh, and Jaden. Um, speaking of Jalen, the fact that he can have such an impact on the game. He doesn't necessarily need a lot of touches on that end. I guess, in a way, how does he fit so perfectly with the roster considering the talent you guys got on the wings? Yeah, he fits really well because he's so unselfish. And we try our best to get him touches, get him opportunity to touch the ball. But he doesn't – that's on us to do that for him. But he doesn't complain. He's just going to continue to rebound, going to continue to block shots and do what he does. And that's what makes him work with this unit because he just has no ego. He just wants to do whatever it takes to win. Penny, uh, back to Tyler real quick. Um, 
were you surprised when he approached you in the off season, asking to come back? Like, how did that all work? Because he's, you know, like you mentioned, this is not a position he's he's used to, but he he wanted to come back home. What was what were those conversations like? You know, whether it was him convincing you or you convincing him, how, how did that work? No, I think he was talking to the players all season long, and then when he went into the portal, he started telling the guys, "Hey, man, you know, tell coach I want to come back." When he got into the portal, I think he was always talking to Alo and Malcolm and those guys during the season. And uh, I was watching a lot of their games. I could just tell he was trying, but he wasn't really, you know, like locked in because he really didn't want to leave Memphis. He felt like he was in a position where it was going to be too many players. He wanted to go where he was going to play. Uh, but when he when he got to the position where he got in the portal and um, we started talking a little bit when he came back home to Memphis, then it made sense to me because I'm nice. I know he's capable of nice like tonight. And then I know in talent level he's not a walk on, but officially no. he's a walk on. Yeah. Um, is it kind of crazy thing? Like I don't know if there's another team in the country that's going to have a walk on lead him in scoring. No, nah, he's, he's 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 the best walk on in, in the country by a long shot. Uh, the point guard spot. What what you know, tonight? It was. What, what's your evaluation what do you, how do you get to a point where you're happy with it I think I'm going to be happy with it when we just come out and try to distribute the basketball and be the best defenders that we can be and then knock down open shots you know what I mean just make the right reads on everything to get rid of the ball space the floor and be heck of the defenders I think Earl and, and Alo both can handle the position really well if they just lock in on the defensive end and just be just monsters on the defensive end and then offensively just make the easy play and then space the floor. I think that's, excuse me, that's all they need to do with this team. And they're very capable of doing that. Do you have a thought right now of how you're going to approach to stay on the same track and let it play out? Or are you gonna I mean, if it doesn't pan out with Alex and Earl, I'm not afraid to go another way. That You know, you got to play the guys that can get it done. And um, that's where it is this year. It's next man up. And obviously, I love both of those kids, and I want them to be the ones that distribute the ball because they're very capable. But if we're struggling in the game, I'm not, I'm not afraid to have both of them on the bench and then go another route. Clayton Wayne, the back, and then Steven up front. I'm just back here, Penny. Uh, one last one on Tyler. Just you know, looking at your history here in Memphis, I mean, he was one of those first guys, and then for him to leave, for him to want to come back, though, just what did that mean to you? Because it, we see where these guys, you know, transfer and. Most of the time, they don't come back to the place they left. Yeah, I knew he didn't want to leave. I think he felt like he was forced to leave, so his heart never really left Memphis. This is where he, where he always wanted to be. And like I said, when he wanted to come back, it made sense to me. I didn't even think about it. It just made sense to me because I just knew that he's just he's a weapon. Tyler Harris is a weapon. And he can come in on any given night and do what he did tonight. It's just who he's always been when he's given opportunities to do so. Opinion with the turnover problems, what's the messaging going to be to the team? Because I would I would say most of them are more self-inflicted than anything any of these first three opponents have kind of done. Yeah, I think that guys are trying to do too much with the basketball instead of just making the easy play that's right in front of them. They might take one extra dribble, and that's not who they are. I think right now we're going to have to just – I'm going to tighten it up because I keep saying we're going to do it, but it's really on me. You know, most of these teams around the country that are definitely top ten – they have one primary ball handler, maybe two. They don't have eight or nine. And we allow everybody to handle the ball because we're in a positionless offense. So everybody can get it and go. And that's really getting us into trouble. And I have to really sure that up because we got to get the ball in people's hands that we know are going to protect it and value it. And I have to do better with that. Yeah, he's kind of got like flu-like symptoms. He's getting an IV right now. He was very sick before the game. We didn't know if he was going to play. And uh, it's not, he tested negative for COVID, so it's not COVID. He's just not feeling well and came out and played really well.